winner, Guru. She's not picking up. She's going to do it. Oh, God. Hello? Hey, can I speak to Annie, please? This is her. Annie, how are you? This is Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the Morning. I'm moving 92.5. You got a second to talk? I'm sorry, who is this? Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the Morning. I'm moving 92.5. We do a morning show. Okay. We were calling you because we do a segment on our show called The Second Date Update. It's basically where you go out on a date with someone and don't get back to them. They email us to call you and ask why. So somebody email us about you. Do you have any idea who that might be? No. Who is it? It's a guy by the name of Guru. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, how can I forget Guru? Yeah. <laughs> Guru's a very memorable guy. <laughs> Wow. Okay. So you met Guru down at Pike Place Market, and you guys had coffee for a little while. Yes, we did. He mimed out some fish throwing and everything. <laughs> yep. Fish throw. How could I forget the fish throw? <laughs> <laughs> Basically, Guru emailed us because he liked you a lot, and he wants to know why he can't get a second date with you. Well, I remember he wore this weird-looking vest that had, like, flowers sticking out of it, like, all over it. It was like basically like a flower vest. What? Okay. <laughs> like a three, was it three-dimensional? No, it was just very strange-looking. And um, so we met outside, and he um, was kind of running around the place and, and ended up doing, uh, like, cartwheels in into the restaurant. Oh, um, oh, and I was just really embarrassed at first, you uh, know, like uh, everyone was staring, of course, because, you know, who does cartwheels in a restaurant? Right, right. <laughs> Guru <laughs> does. Coffee shop, yep. you know. Yeah. <laughs> Andy, can I? This is Brooke. I also do the morning show. Can I ask you real quick? When you first met Guru, the very first meeting, when you guys were standing in front of the accordion player, was there an immediate attraction with him? Yeah, I mean, no. He was he was really funny and I um, kind of charming. You know, like I just I thought he was a street performer. <gasps> okay. You know? Oh no. So. I didn't really know what to expect. I was just like, okay, you know, whatever. I'll, I'll, I'll go out with this guy and see what happens. But in, the immediate reaction was like, oh, he's uh, kind of, you know, talented. Danny? Charming. <laughs> Danny. Annie, Guru's on what? the phone. Guru's on the phone with us. Say hi to Annie, hey, Guru. Guru. Hi, uh, I'd say hi to Annie all day. Hi, Annie. <laughs> I, I don't have a crystal ball. Guru can't see into the future. But but I that morning I wore that flower vest for you. I'm, I'm sure of it because oh, when I was uh, thinking about the wear that day, it was between a couple vests, and, and I actually yeah. had on the leather one, and then I went to the flower one, <laughs> and I think Guru did it for you, and I think the, the first crystal ball I've ever seen in my life were your eyes. That's uh, that's really sweet. Um, <laughs> you know, I just, just listen not. to your voice, Annie. Have you ever stopped it's and listened to your work. voice? <laughs> I, I could play this, some of this back for you. You should hear your voice. <laughs> you have the sweetest, yeah. purest voice Guru's ever heard, and I've heard a lot of voices. <laughs> Guru, I, I have a question for you, because, I mean, you are a lot of personality, and I think that that is a beautiful thing. I really do. But you seem to be attracted. I mean, this is the third time we've done the second date update to really normal women. Well, I think normal. I think you're really. I think you're really underselling Annie here. <laughs> Annie's something special. One, you told her Guru struck out three times in a row going back to the dugout. <laughs> so Is Annie still on the phone? Annie, you're still there, right? Yeah, I'm here. All right. Before I let you go, I wanted to give Guru one last chance to plead to you. Guru, you got like 30 seconds. Tell Annie why you want to go out with her again. Annie, I, there's two ways to look at this world. You look in your review mirror, or you look through the windshield. And I, I don't want to look in the review mirror. I want to look at, on a windshield and through it and see you for a long way down the road. And, and I think Guru and Annie has a nice sound to it. And I, I think that I think you could weave dreams with your hair. I think you're beautiful. <laughs> and I, I, I would love to go out with you again, you know, and again, and again, and again. Uh, but I would take this one. Guru would take one more date with Annie. Annie, have, have you ever had a guy tell you that he wants to weave dreams with your hair? <laughs> Nope. That's nope. Uh, pretty special. We will oh, we yeah. will pay for we'll pay for you if you go on a second date with Guru. We'll pay for the date. Would you go out with Guru again? 
Guys, I, I really appreciate it. It's just not it's not for me. I'm sorry. Oh, that's that's right. okay, Annie. Yeah. yeah. That's okay. Annie, thank you for your time, okay? Thank you, guys. All right. Bye. <laughs> bye, Guru. You're beautiful. Bye, Annie. <laughs> Hey, Guru. <laughs> Look, Annie's gone now. I want you to keep your head up, though, man. All right? Yeah. Except Guru's head is up. <laughs> Guru's head is up. Popping through, popping through like a flower in swing. It's looking around for something cheery. There's not a lot of girls that can handle doing somersaults and stuff into a restaurant. That's a, that's a lot for oh. girls to deal with, Guru. I'm still sore from that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>